the place where we unravel the extraordinary stories of entrepreneurs who dared to dream big. Today, we have a gripping tale in store for you. Welcome to Money Doc TV, a channel dedicated to entrepreneurs who risked it all to create today's most iconic brands. Let's get started. Disney, once the reigning king of entertainment, finds itself in a precarious position today. The series of setbacks, from box office flops to the financial burden of Disney+, Plus, paints a grim picture. Notably, recent movie releases like Fast X and The Flash have underperformed, adding to a broader industry struggle. Even established franchises like Mission Impossible and Disney's own Doctor Strange 4 and Black Panther sequels fell short of expectations. The box office slump extends to animated features, with The Little Mermaid, Ant-Man 3, and new Indiana Jones proving costly disappointments. The downturn culminated in Disney shares hitting their lowest point since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020. The financial implications are severe, forcing Disney to contemplate drastic measures. Shares are in decline, and they are exploring options like selling off TV businesses, spinning off ESPN, and executing significant layoffs. This economic downturn reflects a stark reality. The Disney empire is facing its most challenging times, amidst the gloom, a glimmer of hope arises in an unexpected place YouTube. The platform holds the potential to be the key to Disney's revival. This video explores some actionable steps to revitalize Disney's fortune. The narrative unfolds as a compelling story, promising a more engaging and successful future for the entertainment giant. Exploring the Disney dilemma, three critical themes encapsulate Disney's challenges, streaming, budget, and story. Firstly, the streaming landscape demands a continuous flow of content to engage audiences. Navigating this requires significant investment. However, solving these challenges only uncovers a new layer of complexity. Starting with streaming, it's crucial to recognize the demands it places on consistent, high-quality content production. The need for a captivating content pipeline is evident, and the costs associated with it are not to be underestimated. The recent merchandise campaign serves as a strategic move to address the financial aspects of sustaining compelling content on the platform. Beyond streaming, Disney faces a budgetary conundrum. Balancing the creation of abundant content at a reasonable cost poses a formidable challenge. The merchandising initiative aligns with addressing these financial pressures, ensuring a sustainable approach to content creation. Narrative and storytelling are pivotal elements in a successful content strategy. The key lies in developing narratives that deeply connect with audiences. Tackling the Disney dilemma demands a nuanced storytelling approach, one that not only captures the imagination but also fosters as viewer loyalty. This challenge extends beyond surface-level issues, necessitating strategic solutions to reinvigorate Disney's narrative excellence within the ever-changing entertainment sphere. It's a multifaceted task that calls for a thorough understanding of audience dynamics and trends and an adept ability to weave compelling tales that stand out in the evolving narrative landscape of the entertainment industry. Disney's aggressive push into streaming with Disney Plus has led to an oversaturation of content, diluting the uniqueness of its cherished franchises. The company's strategy of tapping into its extensive intellectual property to maintain a robust content library has resulted in brand dilution. The plethora of Star Wars announcements during Investor Day, many of which were quietly cancelled, eroded audience trust in the brand. Even successful projects like Anders suffered from being overshadowed by underwhelming releases. Similarly, Marvel's Phase 4 has seen a staggering increase in content production, with a notable shift to streaming platforms. The sheer volume of MCU content has diminished the one special feeling of a Marvel release, making it a frequent and less exciting occurrence. Moreover, Disney's decision to premiere numerous films directly on Disney Plus has impacted theatrical revenue. In 2022, a significant portion of Disney's releases bypassed theaters entirely, contributing to financial losses. This shift in distribution strategy, coupled with exorbitant budgets for blockbusters like Indiana Jones and The Little Mermaid, raises concerns about the financial sustainability of Disney's film ventures. In the current landscape of blockbuster films, Disney's productions stand out due to their exceptionally high budgets. This is in contrast to other successful movies like Oppenheimer, John Wick 4, and Barbie which achieve remarkable results with budgets ranging from $100 million to $150 million. The discrepancy raises questions about the factors contributing to Disney's extravagant spending, including the role of CGI, technological developments, and the impact of reshoots. The influence of reshoots on budgets. While reshoots are a common and valuable part of film production, instances where studios decide to overhaul a significant portion of a movie, as seen in examples like Solo, a Star Wars story, can significantly impact 
impact costs. Those decisions can double a film's budget and potentially hinder its financial success. Disney grapples with narrative challenges by heavily leaning on established franchises instead of cultivating engaging stories. Evident in unnecessary sequels like Zootopia 2, Frozen 3, Inside Out 2, and Toy Story 5, Disney tends to rely on brand recognition rather than fresh, compelling narratives. The struggle extends to format choices, exemplified by the mismatching content scale between Eternals and its potential suitability as a Disney Plus series. Series like Obi-Wan on Disney Plus suffer from stretched-out narratives, deviating from the core story and diminishing impact. Managing a successful YouTube channel involves strategic planning to minimize risks, diversify content, and discover new popular topics. Take film theory as an example, where certain themes like analog horror, Spider-Man, and nostalgic kid shows are reliable tentpole programming. This provides a stable foundation, allowing less certain content to be interspersed between them. If an unexpected topic, like the backrooms, gains traction, it becomes a new focus for additional content. However, it's crucial not to overwhelm the audience with too much of a successful theme too quickly, as seen in the cautionary example of Star Wars or Marvel. Balancing content releases ensures sustained interest and engagement. Understanding which ideas work best as shorts or full videos is also vital, aligning with the principle that content should fit where it tells the best story. Budgeting is another essential aspect, with its episode's costs calculated based on expected AdSense revenue. Additional income from brand deals or merchandise sales is a bonus that can be used to expand the team or fund ambitious projects occasionally. Just like in the YouTube model, Disney should budget its movies based on expected box office returns, avoiding a continuous stream of high-budget releases without certainty of earning them back. Occasionally, investing in more expensive or passion projects is acceptable, but it should be a well-considered and infrequent decision. The order in which Disney releases its movies is crucial for how people see the brand. If they mix both hits and misses smartly, Disney can stop a bad trend in what people think. This plan is to avoid having too many letdowns in a row and to make people excited about the next big thing. Overall, it's about making sure people see Disney's franchises in a positive light. A strategic release order can break up disappointments, create anticipation for major releases, and ultimately influence public perception. Learning from past failures and adjusting release orders to foster a positive cultural conversation is important. For YouTube channels and big movie studios, it's crucial to budget wisely and avoid redoing lots of scenes. Studios, just like Disney, should plan their budget based on what they think they'll make at the box office. It's important for the creative team to talk early on to prevent expensive last-minute changes. Learning from YouTube's budgeting ideas can help big studios save time and money when making movies. We really hope you enjoyed today video Disney is finally dying, here is why. Be sure to leave a like and comment below on what you loved about our video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss another great video. Until next time we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember no dream is too big.